What's up everybody? Hello and the welcome back to probably one of the last episodes of Anno 1800 Passage, which has been quite a long playthrough since we started with Anno 1800 The Anarchist. And we are just having a beautiful look here over Crown Falls. And in this episode, I want to focus a bit the on, for the last time, a bit on the Arctic actually, because Oh yeah, well, we do also have Balrog again, and holy look at that catastrophe that has happened to Balrog. A building has been crushed, and he... Oh, actually, two buildings, three buildings, four buildings, four buildings have been crushed. For whatever reasons, probably because of the flu. It's flu season, after all, and that's also not good for, well, my population, obviously. Now, in the Arctic... We do have two problems right now. The first problem is that the our oil lamps are always out because we don't have any brass anymore or so little brass that we can't um, produce enough oil lamps anymore. So we do need to get that brass from Crown Falls. And the second is that we still have a beautiful island that is unsettled. And of course, being the That's builders fine, that bro. we are, um, we definitely do want to have this island here as well where we also have two gold deposits waiting for us to be scavenged something like that now here we can do that so we just built a trading post and we just because we are friends of the natives we just keep a native name here so quick gig took is the name of this beautiful little settlement here and let's have a few roads here again so this one here actually this is a bit too close there to the ocean i'm pretty sure of that because we also of course need to have whale stations here and yes it, it should be looking like that so the street should be around here to fit and we just go all the way up here now to the gold deposits that we have there and the explorers what was actually the first need that the explorers had it's been such a long time a canteen and then the pemmican food right and the pemmican food we have here does require the whale and the caribou hunting cabin here it's rather cheap to make right so let's just have some buildings and no unfortunately that there are no ornaments in the arctic so i would just love to have a little park here or something but then again having a park in the arctic is probably not on the priority for most people so let's just start with a few explorers here once again and we do have quite a lot of resources after all i got a cargo ship full of it so we can even upgrade the trading post here and then just unload the rest of it very good and then just continue building here another settlement and then have the canteen up here and we also need of course a heater which is here or probably probably here right that's where the heater is and we do need the charcoal kiln for that which we produce on this island ourselves so we're not going to have a trade route for coal going to this um town from now on i'm just going to say town because quick kick took is a bit too hard to pronounce all the time and then we need another warehouse here where we then have well, at least I think one charcoal kiln for now. We'll probably need a second one then. After a little bit of time here, as you can see, low heat already. We should also have a rain station close by. So probably also here with the canteen. And I just would love to have some ornaments for this one here. They really missed it a bit there. But perhaps for my mother playthrough, we are going to have some park ornaments here. At least a stature of something. Give me, Give me something. That reminds me of the old world. After all, those people travel quite some time, quite a distance to this land here. We do need to wait a bit to uh, produce the coal here, though. It is being produced now. And we also need, of course, some plank production. So in this case... No, we cannot fit it in here. So only one lumberjack hut will have to suffice. Oh, and what? They also need heat? No, then not. Let's just get more planks then from... King William Island because we do have quite the production of planks here anyway. So that's this one here. And we should now be hopefully Workforce producing shortage. coal now. Very good. So we can start also more buildings here. More explorers again. Workforce I want to have... Wait a second. I want to have a little main road here though at least. That we have something. Workforce right. Shortage. This is still working out. And then we can continue here with some more buildings Workforce shortage. 
right that's better because i don't want to have them so close to the heater there anyway and there is a little chasm here so we need to be careful to not build anything on it or beside it i mean it's not really possible anyway but still and then some more buildings over here and how's the heating looking? It reaches everything very good. And he's already getting the first oil. coal here, so that shouldn't be a big deal. Now, one more thing happened. The metal cruiser is now here in Crown Falls. I prepared there something. So we just need to unload lots of steam motors here because I want to cr well, create, well, construct more um, cargo ships that we need. So we don't have any steam motors here right now. That means we can't produce the cargo ships and we do need so many of them it's incredible now i was talking about the brass let's have the brass real quick here so when we look at crown falls what i can see is that we certainly do have enough zinc and copper on this um island here so that's or island well it's a mainland actually on this mainland here um the other thing was the what's missing though this is because i want to upgrade a few more investors or engineers to investors look at that we don't have enough light bulbs everything would be ready not the light bulbs though so in order to upgrade something we could do with all those artisans here because yeah and workers too but before we can do that we do need more light bulbs and light bulbs is something that is quite dirty to produce and would re uh, reduce the attractiveness of my town here quite quite a bit we do want to produce that somewhere else and i've already prepared something here as well so we have a battle cruiser here with some building materials on this island here <laughs> look at that it's called siffington again i don't think we have a siffington yet we had one but it has been destroyed i think actually no wait for it it is the same island okay so the name is tied to the island now another thing that we've learned and here i want to have well light bulb production which is really easy it just needs the sand mine and the glass maker and then the coal mine with the filament factory and we do have two coal deposits here um more than on any other island that has already been settled um so this is the right choice here i've already constructed now two cargo ships here in sleepy hollow which is still looking quite dangerous and we have to send it to cape trelawney Two of them at least that's very good while they're on the way we can still continue with a few buildings why is this one here oh okay i see okay let's get rid of this one there for now we're going to have another heater here anyway soon and then we can use it and here we can have a few more of them right and also here two more that we have everything here now the coal starts up and what we can do though is get a few more planks then for this island and we definitely have enough planks it's already capped again incredible let's get 200 right and perhaps another 50 for the steel beams that we can do is he on his way now nope he's not now he's on his way very good and yep, we also have a new quest. Let's have a look at that. Some, Some children snuck off to see your city. Please, can you send them home? Whatever made them leave, we can talk about it later. All right, Inuit children. What? They're up here. According to my map, they've made it somehow onto this plateau here. <laughs> Quite the children. They must be really afraid of him or something else. But well, we are good people, so I mean, I guess we are good people. I don't know if this is a this is a good deed now, but we're going to find them and send them back home. And for this, I think, oh, there's actually a building. There is something for pickup. Okay, that was one. Even though it was a group, there's another group here. They're playing up here, and there is another group. Right, so we got them, and now I just need an airship. Lucky for us, we do have one idly waiting around. And get those children back to him, and then we'll just see what happens. And right, we are still on the quest of getting some 
brass here to the Arctic. There's my... No, he's actually on a trade route there. Where is my battle cruiser that I just sent here? There he is. With the steam motors. And now we do need, let's see, for the commute pier. Because I don't intend of building another city there. And I think... Yes, more steel beams might be a good idea as well. And this one here we can set also back again. We have to use battle cruisers at the moment, unfortunately, since I don't have any other cargo ships ready or free for that task. And I really want to get those light bulbs up there. So we really want to have another huge upgrade of engineers to our um, investors at some point. Is it wrong to the same thing we could do with so many artisans, but I'm a bit afraid of doing that, actually. Right, who knows? Uh, oh! We actually do have a riot here in Crown Falls. It's the only riot, though. And why here? It's actually a perfectly beautiful location here. I feel it reflects the times. Riot chance is high. Schnapps is missing. Oh no! Okay, we do. We are lacking schnapps. We're lacking schnapps. I think that we should have that in Endor. I think we have lots of schnapps here. And where's my trade route then? From Endor the schnapps to Sleepy Hollow. Ah, to Crown Falls. It seems like we don't even have a trade route on that anymore. There it is. An and Dorothy is doing it actually, so what's the problem? Only are reporting in. Where's Dorothy? There she is. Schnapps. Okay, we do have 300 tons again, but it's not enough, it seems, for those poor peasants. Because without schnapps, of course, life is very dull. And I think we have to produce more in Andor. Can we boost it here? Yes. Nope, that's not possible. So schnapps distillery, we need a few more. We actually already have quite a bit of a few of them. Right, but uh, that is a bit strange though. Can we upgrade them? Yes, we can upgrade a few here in Ender, and that is something I want to do. First, to reduce the demand for schnapps, and second of all, to also make this a bit more beautiful here, Ender. You reached a new milestone. And yes, with that, Ender is now also a port down town. And it's just looking a bit better now with some farm uh, workers here. Of course, we do need some farmers again, some more of them. So we just have them over here then. Where the farms are. That's a fitting one, fitting location here. And never forget, never forget the pub. People will destroy your town if you don't have a pub. Right, that should reduce the amount of negative negativity here. It's looking a bit better now. And yeah, hopefully we do get a bit more schnapps because we consume not that much anymore, which of course isn't really right, technically speaking. So let's have even more. Three more. How much put how many potatoes do we have? enough perfect so that's no problem so far and my battle cruiser is waiting once again for some building materials and here we have this one now in Siffington where we can now have a commute pier which we do need there it is and it actually cost me 15 influence right yeah there was something about that and boom we do have our Workforce here. That is still an amazing idea. I think this commuting stuff. I really do like it Now we just we still need to wait a bit here now for more building materials It's really a pity that I don't have more ships for that Where are my cargo ships? They're not here yet, so we need to wait there a bit. Let's go back to the Arctic Right more cra uh, planks here 
so we can continue with a few more buildings here just here and here and right then we can start production so we should have do we have coal now yep i do need a second charcoal kiln that we can have here and then for the food we can have the caribou hunting cabin just here does this one need yeah it requires heat that is a bit strange let's get it away here because we do have to build it somewhere over here then Right, so here we have a warehouse, Your another heater, unfortunately, point. there are my cargo ships now coming in Crown Falls, and the heater, Your ship has and that means point. now, does it mean one or two Har uh, caribou hunting cabins? Let's have two, right? Right, and two whaling stations. And of course, they also require heat. Very good. They do have it at least. And that means we can now produce it. What I just need is the cookhouse. And best served with two cookhouses. Missing heat should be coming up now. There it is, and they're being heated now as well. So we do have a bit of food now coming in for my explorers here. So they do have that, they do have the canteen. They should be perfectly happy here Game in Quigigtuk, something like that. My airship is in Desperation Bay, and it's a fitting name that in Desperation Bay we are going for... Uh, we are going for our mission, I just wanted to say. Sail to the Inuit borough schooner and collect your reward. Do I not to uh, do I not need to deliver them? Because there is no mission here, no mission items. Okay, I think we just need to sail to him. Well then, let's do that. Airship is on the way. I thought we would have to deliver the children to him, but it seems like we don't need to. And there are my two cargo ships now coming into Crown Falls. And we can fully load now one of them with the building materials that we need for the light bulb production. Now we have that. So that's rather easy here. This one here is a bit more problematic. Those two there. So we need also lots of reinforced concrete and windows. Lucky for us, two ships should be perfectly fine for that. Um, and we are totally out of schnapps again. I just don't get it. 300 tons of schnapps that quickly. We only have 2,700 farmers, but 13,000 workers, right? They also need schnapps. Yeah, well, that is another thing then. Okay, we get an item for the whaling station. And our community will make them feel loved again. <laughs> Well, I think those children are in for a huge beating. But that's just my opinion here. And let's get some more steel beams there. Window and one of each. And that should really be enough for a decent light bulb production. Right, so we can start already with that. We just need a shore. We have one here. Oh, and a bigger one here. That's better. Then we just have a warehouse then. Let's make it two warehouses. Let's make it one for now. I don't think we'll need that many sand mines. And then one huge street going all the way to the docks. Right, and here we can now have the glass production. So we do have the sand mine there. Producing every 30 seconds. That's fine. Let's have four of them for now. I just love his accent how he says that battle cruiser ready and then we have the sand mine and now it's ratio one, one to one so now we can have four glass makers that we should also have here right away and upgrade our warehouse 
Raichu. That's four of them, producing every 30 seconds. That's huge. So we have one here for two light bulb factories already. The filament factory is one to one though. All right, how is it looking? Steel beams are still missing. There are my two cargo ships coming. How are the riots looking over here? We still have them, it's very strange. Let's mobilize our police there and build a second police station. The only way to show my population true happiness is by having more police around. I think the workers are affected by it. Do we have other workers rioting? No. Day full of day of dreary drudge. It's really because of schnapps. They're not happy. They're not happy without their schnapps. Only our reporting in. Hmm. Perhaps I will have to use another cargo ship on schnapps after all. It's not raining unless it may. Right. Uh, and let's upgrade this one here two times to have more ah. cargo space ready. Available. That should be all. Very good. So we have that. And now let's have a look. Where's my coal? There's my coal one here. That we have here. And for that I will do need the coal mine. Should be somewhere here. And let's not have a second one just right away because it's actually enough for four of those filament factories, you know, so it's huge actually. And then we just need another warehouse here. Let's just have those productions then on this, in this area here. So that's already that, and now we can have four of those light bulb factories, which is not enough. So we don't have enough resources for that. Three will be enough. Right, so we'll probably need a bit more. Let's just send my cargo ships back, and let's get one of my cargo ships here, this one, to Andor, where we're going to increase our schnapps production. First of all, we do need a few more farmers. Just a few more. Workforce shortage. Right, and here they can live right with the fields where they belong, because they're farmers. That should really be enough, though. I don't have enough wood anymore for farms, okay. I think that's the first time that I'm seeing something like that. And also here, a decent field. And then this one here, and we can even squeeze a few more in here then. Right, now I have it here. Very good. Put that, and then we can have like one, two more. Should be really enough and let's have a look at my routes here for schnapps from Ender to Crown Falls. Let's have another cargo ship on it. There it is, Silver Hope on its way already. This will of course completely deplete any schnapps that we have in Endor. But the thing is, we just produce it here, you know, so it's always full. Even though if it runs out for a second, we produce so much that we have it in store right away again. So it's fine for Endor, and it hopefully should be then sufficient for Crown Folds over there. Now, Siffington, we are producing now finally light bulbs 
For the last time, let's get a few resources over there and then we can use Hydra um, on the trade route for the light bulbs. Right, and steel beams. No, reinforced concrete, that's it. That's what we need. And in El Espino we do have... We do have a hospital close by though, and the doctors are already at work. That shouldn't be too much of a problem over here. Very good. Oh, and it's raining in Crown Falls. Right, so let's have a look again at the Arctic there real quick. You reached a new milestone. And this one here is now a camp too. Quick, yeah, you know what. And we do have now the food here as well, so a nice little settlement that we have there now. Workforce shortage. And we've now used almost all the islands. And by the way, this is probably enough now because we have seen all the tags in the Arctic. And it's it's a beautiful DLC. It's a beautiful map here system as well. So I love the graphics. Um, unfortunately, you can't really do that much with the Arctic. You know, so you have the camps here. Definitely enjoying it and the story missions as well but after that you just get gas you know and gas is really the same than oil um just another type of it and you're producing gas it just takes a lot of time and work here on these plateaus where oil is plentiful in the new world for example so it's a nice addition though um it also has its problems there especially with the longevity i think 15 to 20 hours is pretty good for the passage and pretty good for a dlc anyway that we've done this and we've also seen all the quests from him because the achievement has been unlocked so um fulfilled 10 resident quests um in the arctic or inuit quests that is and with that we can finally leave the arctic now we also have the trade route for the gas to crown falls and the only thing that's really missing now is the brass that we are producing in crown falls now anyway and then have it via trade route over here in king william island so all that remains now since we also fixed the new world and the old world a bit all that remains now is having a last look at crown falls in the next episode building a few more things <laughs> upgrading as many citizens as possible to make it uh, really really big at last and i think we also don't need those sheep farms here anymore and we can just have another smaller settlement here then and then as a final edition we are going to have a beautiful walk through crown falls at the end of it to see it all once again stay tuned